Hello everyone. This is the pre-market report video for today, 5th September 2024 for the new stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. If required, please pause and have a look. Because of Tuesday night US market sell-off, yesterday almost most of the major countries index dropped significantly, especially the Asian market. In line with that, Nifty also opened gap down of near 200 points. However, as the day progressed, it recovered 120 points and closed negative of only 80 points, which is nothing but 0.3%. So I won't say yesterday was a sell-off in the Indian market, rather it's just a pause in the momentum because of the global sell-off. In fact, the overall market was not that bad. 50% of the stocks declined and 48% increased and in that 250 number of stocks hit the 52 week high value. So if not the negative global momentum yesterday, Nifty might close to positive for the 15th straight day and I might end up in huge loss. Since as I said in the last pre-market video, just 5 minutes before the Fin Nifty breakout on Tuesday, I sold a lot of 51,700 Bank Nifty call option and then again at the time of Tuesday closing where Bank Nifty reached the peak, I sold additional 15,900 call option to average it. So Tuesday at the time of market closing, I was with a loss of around 500 rupees per lot. Hence yesterday when I woke up, which was roughly 12 p.m. Indian time, the first thing I did was squaring off the open position. Luckily, with profit of around 500 rupees per lot. You might ask why I'm telling this in the video. There is a reason. Here, I'm going to tell how I always enter the expiry related trade. Disclaimer, please don't make investment based on this. The purpose of sharing this is to emphasize the mistake I made and of course for the educational purpose. Usually for the expiry related trade, I look for these three things. One, some big event has to be in due on that week. For this week, US jobs data is due on Friday and market is at higher level. So that will make the bulk traders to wait and be cautious. Similarly, last week it was PC inflation was due on Friday. Second, if I'm selling options for tomorrow's expiry means, I always take the trade today at around 10 to 8 minutes from the market closing. Hence, tomorrow when the market opens, the time decay will be higher so I can utilize that. And finally, I will make sure there is no big event on that particular trade day or on next expiry day. These are the three simple, easy to remember rules I always follow. And of course, I will check other important news, fundamentals, technicals, etc. But these three rules are predominant. So now on Tuesday, when I sold the Bank Nifty call option, I ticked the first rule. But maybe because of my overconfidence due to the recent success, I didn't pay enough attention to my second and third role. And I realized that within the 15 minutes of my trade execution, again, I didn't close it. Rather, I hoped it to get better, but the trade went completely other way. So my suggestion is, and also I'm telling to myself, in stock market, discipline is the utmost important thing. We have to stick with our trading rules. I mean, these three rules working for me and it doesn't mean it will work for everyone. So whoever do the trade, they have to find whatever the rules work for them and have to stick with it. And this is my another personal recommendation. Please journal the trade whenever you take it or whenever it's possible like why we took the trade, why it worked well or if we get the loss, we have to analyze it like what went wrong, then we will find lot of informations. I mean for this last bank nifty trade, yesterday turned out to be positive for me. But on Tuesday evening, I was with the EMTM loss. At that time, I really found lot of interesting facts like I missed the ICICI bank AGM completely. So highly recommending from my personal experience, journal all the trade and investment without fail. Please don't do trade or invest blindly and it doesn't have to be fancy, just why we entered the trade, what went in our way and what went against us, that should be enough. Just for an example, if required, please pause and have a look. 
This is my one note journal for the June month trade which I had a loss. Please don't look for the grammatical error in this. Anyway, back to the market. Regarding institution, for the fourth day in a row, FIA was net bias. As per NSE website, the net bought for near 1000 crore rupees. And as per NSDL website, the net bought for 3000 crore rupees. Then about DIA, they too net bought in the market, but for marginal 100 crore rupees. So those were the quick takeaways. Now coming to the US market. Around 10 a.m. Eastern Time, U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics released the number of available job openings in U.S. at the end of July month. Here, the data came as just 7.6 million jobs compared to the expectation of over 8 million jobs. And also, they revised the June month value from 8.2 million jobs to 7.9 million jobs. This is again terrible jobs data. So on top of the Tuesday night negativity, last night also US market traded negative for most part of the day. Only Dow Jones closed flat to positive, S&P funded down marginally by 0.16%. Well, Nasdaq fell 0.31%. In case of VIX, it increased 3% and moved near 21.5%. About oil, it decreased further 1.5%. Regarding the reason, no new same Libya issue, which we discussed in the last two videos. At the time of this video, WTA crude trading around 69 US dollars per barrel, while Brent crude trading around 73 US dollars per barrel. Then about Indian areas, despite this negative US market, it looks okay. I mean, only Wipro closed negative and Infosys closed positive 0.3%, despite it was down 1% in the Indian market. Then about banks, HDFC Bank ADR closed more positive compared to Indian market close and ICC Bank ADR also closed positive. So overall from ADR perspective, banks looks positive and IT looks mixed. Regarding GIF Nifty, early morning it closed at 25,348. Considering the 100 points premium, it's indicating gap up opening of 50 to 60 points. So this is what happened yesterday in the global market. Now let's move to the Indian market stock and sector specific. First about Reliance, yesterday in the aftermarket hours, Indian government announced that Reliance won a government incentive bid for making EV batteries. I mean, seven companies applied for setting up the manufacturing facility. Out of the seven, now Reliance won. So government expects to give incentives for around 4,000 crore rupees. In addition, today there is a Reliance board meeting for considering the bonus issue. Hence, both the info I consider this as positive. Let's see, maybe this might be the reason why GIF Nifty is indicating the gap up opening. Second about Vedanta, ICRA rating upgraded their long term debt to AA from AA minus. So Vedanta will be on focus. Third, yesterday Steel Ministry requested the Finance Ministry to increase the steel import tariff from China by 10 to 12 percent. This was requested during our end time market hours. So it gone unnoticed. So possibly today market might react for it. As a summary, US market closed flat to negative, especially Nasdaq was down. So global momentum is not good. However, because of positiveness from HFC Bank ADR and Reliance GDR, Gift New Free is indicating a gap up opening of 60 points. Then about the things to look out, first at 11.30 am, Germany factory orders and at 2.30 pm, Europe's retail sales is due. Then in the evening for US, private jobs data, usual US weekly jobs data, crude oil inventories and service payment data are some of the items we need to keep an eye out today. Coming to technical, finally Nifty snapped its positive run for the first time in the last 15 straight sessions. However, it opened near 200 points gap down and recovered 120 points gradually. So despite the downtrend, Nifty formed a bullish candlestick pattern and defended the 10-day exponential moving average, which coincides with the previous August 1st swing high. This is a positive sign. However, on the hourly chart, Nifty broke its upward trend by falling below the trend line. Hence, going forward, Nifty might consolidate between 25,080 and 25,250. A drop below 25,080 could trigger further correction towards 24,800 and then to 24,500 level. While a move beyond 25,250 
might induce a rally towards higher levels in case of bank nifty it was also under pressure and also underperformed nifty thus on the daily chart bank nifty formed a small bullish candlestick pattern with upper and lower shadow indicating volatility however it defended the previous day's low and sustained above all key moving averages which is positive hence bank nifty as long as continues to hold above 15000 to 50 level it might move towards 15750 and then to 52000 while on the downside support is at 15000 zone regarding the weekly options data the maximum call option open interest was at 25300 strike followed by 26000 and 25500 with maximum new call option rating at 25200 strike and then 25300 and 25500 on the put side the maximum open interest was at 25000 strike followed by 25100 and 24500 with maximum new put option rating at 25000 strike and then 25100 and 24700 thus from options data 25300 is likely to be an immediate resistance with immediate support at 25100 and then 25000 so that's all in this video hope you all got some useful information please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video so it will help me beat the youtube algorithm and also motivate me to do more please don't make any investigation based on this as not a sebi research advisor i am doing this for me and viewers educational purpose only thanks for watching